This video segment is part of a set of videos on basics in which we'll touch on just the bare essentials of laser measurements you might need to do and the tools that will help you do them. For measuring power from picowatts to several hundred milliwatts, we usually use sensors based on semiconductor photodiodes. Their response time is very fast. The physical response takes uh, from nanoseconds to microseconds, but with the processing involved, it slows down to about 0.2 seconds typically. A photodiode is very sensitive. In fact, it's so sensitive that we build some basic attenuation into it and then have some more removable attenuation on top of that to give it a useful dynamic range. There are three main types of photodiode sensors. Silicon for the visible and near-infrared spectral range. Powers up to 300 milliwatts. There are also models for powers up to 1 watt and 3 watts. Germanium, near-infrared out to 1800 nanometers and indium-gallium arsenide, or in-gas, for near-infrared out to 1,700 nanometers, mainly for telecom-related applications. The in-gas sensors can measure all the way down to picowatts. Ophir offers these sensors in two configurations, an off-axis wand configuration and a round configuration for applications requiring the sensor to be mounted on the same optical axis as the rest of the optical setup. There are also various accessories available, such as fiber optic adapters, a special 7 mm aperture for CDRH measurements, and others. The specific choice of model depends on the details. Ophir offers a tool called Sensor Finder which does most of the thinking for you and offers you correct solutions for your laser. You can find it on our website. And of course, your local Ophir representative will be more than happy to help you with your particular application.